Okay, now on to a very, very great guy who's uh, who's been very nice with his comments and everything. I appreciate that. Jude fifty four seventy eight. Jude, or I should say, Jude five four seven eight. He's asking if you could star in any film, upcoming or of old, which would it be, and which character would you play in it? Well, there's not a lot of upcoming films, but maybe the only upcoming film I would like to be in is Ghostbusters Three. I would like to play either a Ghostbuster or a, or the voice of one of the ghosts. <laughs> either those two things. Now for the old movies. Oh man, there's a lot of them. As you know, I'm those movies. Those movies back then were the most ones that inspired me. But the 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 top ones. I would like to say Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> I know that's a bad impression of Eddie Murphy. Second one may be Snake Plissken, Escape from New York. And the last one would be Rambo. That most definitely Rambo. Or you know what? I just can't I just I just came up the Terminator. Whether he's good or bad, it doesn't matter. And John Matrix from Commando. Because those were the movies that mostly inspired me. Most definitely. So, Jude 5478, thank you for your question. I really appreciate that. And by the way, uh, people, Jude 5478 is, is the latest member of the Old School Losers Club. So let's give him a big, big hand, shall we? Yay! He's part of the Old School Losers Club. Congratulations. Just be careful partying out out there, Jude, okay? Because the sun will come up and you might and you, and you might and you might go into dust since you're a vampire. <laughs> so be careful out there uh, celebrating since you're that you're that you're a member, okay? <laughs> Okay, now on to the next individual with questions. Jason versus the 13th, 1983. And his first question is... When will you reveal yourself or even put a picture of yourself on your YouTube channel? I already answered this question. I told you I'm trying to. Maybe I will show myself in a human form. I haven't made up my mind yet, and my face is already up on the up on the on the channel. <laughs> but I'm still. But like I said, I, that was the first question I was asked. Sierra Trump already asked me that question. I'll think about that. Okay, number two. Who's your favorite action star and why? Okay, like I said before, I grew up on everybody. I grew up on all of them. All of them! All of them! All of them! All of them! Every single one! All of them! 
But to be honest, my favorite action hero I always looked up to. I, I, I like all the action heroes equally, but mostly I looked up to Arnold Schwarzenegger. I watch I, I watched Stallone and I watched the rest of those guys. I liked them equally, but Schwarzenegger was the one I enjoyed the most because he was he he was so he was just fun to watch with Commando and the Terminator and everything, you know. He was so cool. He was just cool. I, he's still cool today. Since even as the governor of California, he's still cool. And I hope he gets back into the movie business when he's done with his time. I can't wait till he gets back. Cause like I said, we need him now. Stallone can't do, handle it all by himself, you know. <laughs> Definitely Schwarzenegger all the way. Okay, number three. What's your favorite all-time movie? I already I, I answered this question. It's Risky Business. It was Risky Business. Go if you look back on my look back on the on the other videos, and you'll see the my my my. Uh, some more information of my fi what my favorite movie is. I already answered that. Number four. Top five horror, action, karate, and gangster films. My top five. Top five horror. Top five when it comes to horror, I guess. Let's see. I think I would pick I'm gonna start with number five. I'm gonna start counting backwards on this. I'm gonna start count counting backwards on this. Okay? Number five is the fly remake. Number four is the thing awesome movie? I know everybody loves it, including myself. The first time I saw it was in 2001, while the video game was coming out on Sci-Fi. It was on the Sci-Fi Channel. I really enjoyed it. That was the first time I saw it back in 2001. Number three. Now this is a movie that really haunted me when I was a kid. When I was back, when I was a kid, this. This movie would come on pay-per-view every f and late at night. I would watch it every late night when it came on pay-per-view on cable. This movie really creeped me out. It was a it, it's a very underrated movie that deserves more recognition. It deserves more more notice. The number three is a very good creepy movie. The Believers with Martin Shane. If you have not heard of The Believers, you're you are totally missing out. You are totally missing out. This is a very creepy movie. It's a story about a cult, a sacrificial cult in Los Angeles. I mean, I mean excuse me, I mean in New York. The thing, the thing that always creeped me out about the movie mostly was the score, the music. The music made the movie more creepy. So if you have not heard of The Believers, go to your local video store and, f and rent it. it, it it's going to totally crawl up your skin, definitely. Okay, number two. Now, this is also a movie that really creeped me out when I was a kid, back in the day. It really scared the scared. It really like scared the force out of me. <laughs> it really scared the force out of me. And this is my favorite werewolf movie of all time. An American Werewolf in London. <laughs> I'm sure all of you've heard of that. I think this is like that was like the first movie that combined horror with comedy. It was John Landis, the director. 
He didn't. He said he didn't meant it to be a comedy. It just had dark humor in it. But I think this was the first movie that com- the first movie ever that combined horror with dark comedy and humor, which I think led to the Scream movies. I told. I really believe that. I believe if we didn't have American Werewolf in London, we wouldn't have the Scream. I honestly believe that. 